You guys know what day it is. So we're going to show you a quick update on our giant African millipedes. We have two of them and they're a pair. They're really cool. We really enjoy them. Um, this one just peed on me, but they are really fun. They feel really weird. A lot of people ask uh, how their, all their little tiny legs feel on you. It feels like pins and needles. It's really cool. Um, they're harmless and we have, you can see tiny little mites on them. They're symbiotic little mites that help them out and clean them a bit but also the enclosure is a low airflow enclosure and you have to have decaying leaf litter in here so you can see it's kind of a little bit moldy but we also have a whole bunch of springtails in here to eat the mold so it doesn't get out of hand we have a cuttlefish bone that is calcium that they eat and also some little veggies and some decaying hardwood so all of this stuff in when you get the leaf litter, you shouldn't use just leaves out and about. You have to use, um, and he's waking up. You have to use uh, leaves that have been baked so that there's nothing, um, so there's nothing uh, living on them and anything that could hurt your insects. So this little guy is super cool. Look at him go. But, and he moves like that so he can poop on my hand. <laughs> But these little guys are awesome. What a fun little creature to have. And I hope that you guys really like seeing these. And if you enjoy more things like this, feel free to comment below and let us know. Um, and we'll definitely show you any new insects that we get. And we have a lot of fun doing this. Springtails. Can you see him walking around there? Not if you don't hold him still. You can see him on the side. Can you stop moving? Um, stop. <laughs> I can't use any of this video. You can see my reflection. Yeah, you can see him moving around. So why use springtails, Ryan? These help keep your enclosures clean. They'll eat uh, funguses and poops and leftover remains of dead bugs. So, they're a good cleanup crew. And what enclosures do you use them in? Bioactive enclosures. So if you like and subscribe, you'll know what I'm talking about. So we keep them in our insect enclosures. Keep them in our insects. Anything that is um, very moist, <laughs> very <laughs> humid, <laughs> damp. Hmm. So we don't keep them in with the ball pythons or lizards or anything nope just insects and we have a bioactive setup we're going to be doing a video on it's going to help clean up those are isopods and yeah all right guys pulling a clutch of eggs today from a lavender albino female to a killer leopard clown male got the bins already set up in the incubator Nice and easy. Ben's gonna yell at me because the fan's on. Just make sure she doesn't have anything left in her. Come on. Come on. Darling. It's pretty empty. As you can see, it's looking pretty skinny now.
that all look good? Two, four, six, eight. Four, six, eight eggs. Supposed to lay these last night. Just gonna separate them a little bit because they're a little tall. Nice and gently peel them apart. Taking great care not to tear any of the eggs. Check on where the embryo is. This one here is upside down, but that's how the female kind of gripped it up. And early on, these things can readjust themselves. So I'm just gonna leave that alone. And we'll check back when it hatches. I'm pretty sure that embryo will reattach. We'll scoot up to the top and it'll be fine. Better than tearing these up any more than we have to. Let's hit it with some press and seal. A little short on that one. Fourth of July clutch. So killer, Leo, clown, two, love. And I can get my phone to get the exact date, but we'll check back on check back in with these on um 60 days from now and see what happens. Come on, give us some eggs. What are you looking at? Talking to your girlfriend. What day is it? <laughs> <laughs> That's right, guys. Today is giveaway day and we're giving away a big swag pack. So you guys are gonna be getting a couple or a few t-shirts from us. And of course the winner's gonna have to tell us their size. 
you're gonna get a couple of hats, r and Reptiles hats, a sticker pack, and also a snake hook from Get Hooked. And this is just an example of one. We're having one special made just for this giveaway. So you'll be one of the very few that'll be out there that'll own one and it'll be awesome. So snake hook, a couple t-shirts or maybe a hoodie. We're not sure, we might change things up a little bit. And we'll talk to you. A couple it. hats <laughs> and some stickers. So make sure that you enter in and the way to do that is how, Ryan? You're gonna go to this video and you're gonna like, comment, and subscribe. <laughs> Snake hooks are awesome. You gotta be subscribed to the channel, you gotta comment on the video, and please like and share it. You don't have to like and share it, but we'd, we'd appreciate it. And this is one that you don't have to be 18 or over to enter, and, I don't think. And we're gonna be fine. Yeah, that'd be fun. And yeah. we'll do it, we're gonna do it internationally this time. Internationally? So our overseas people, a couple of you have been asking if we can do a giveaway that includes you guys and we're more than happy to do that. It's a little difficult to get animals over there, but this is a little bit easier. <laughs> yeah, so we'll send you a bunch of stuff and we're uh, really grateful for Chris at Get Hooked for helping us out with this giveaway. So go check him out as well and check out his stuff. He's on Facebook. We'll put the link below. So thank you guys and make sure that you share this video with a bunch of your friends so they can win as well and give you some stuff because I'm sure they're really nice because if they're not your friends then they wouldn't be nice. I don't, uh... My friends are terrible. <laughs> I have good friends. <laughs> so, like and subscribe to this video. Get some cool t-shirts and hats and stickers and an awesome custom snake hook. Also, who knows what Ben will end up putting in there because I like to throw in some surprises. Don't forget to hit that bell icon as well. You may even get a visit from Red Green Grumble. Oh no. <laughs> so hit that bell icon so you know when the giveaway is and it'll be on the 13th of August. So the 13th is a Tuesday this time because I messed up the last time and did it on a Monday. But this time it'll be a Tuesday just like our normal days and it'll be at 6 p.m. We'll go live, like always. And it'll be awesome. And it'll be awesome. I guess. It'll be awesome, right? This is gonna be great. So we're gonna what's this? the date drawing? Gonna be sure August 13th. It. Sure. I wrote it check. down. I wrote it down. It's gonna be a Monday yet. Yeah. <laughs> I'm not. <laughs> It's giveaway day. He hit me last time. He doesn't know it's coming. So what do you want to do with it? Giveaway day! Hi. <laughs> that was pretty good. Cut the video. <laughs>